Hey everyone, this is Jolyn and Hoku. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Thursday's check-in. I am here in Santa Monica and I think this is the longest I've been here in California from this whole calendar year. I think I have two and a half weeks here. So I wanted to hop on here before I wrap up my last few days in Santa Monica to say hello for Thursday's check-in. As you can see, I'm in the bathroom. At some point, I will do a bathroom plant tour so you can see what the plants look like in the bathroom this time of the year and also which type of plants I have. Some plants do live here full time and some of them kind of rotate as needed. So you will eventually see that on a Monday upload. I wanted to hop on here to let everyone know who watches me in the Bay Area to come out this weekend, Saturday and Sunday to come meet me, see the shop. A few more days left here in Santa Monica before I gear up to take the whole shop back to the Bay Area for my last pop-ups for 2022 with the shop hopefully the rain will hold out for me because this past sunday i decided to not go to the rose bowl and i just lost out on the fee because it was raining for the few days prior to market day and on market day and i did a rainy market day the prior sunday to that at melrose and it was really cold and not ideal and that's something that i do have to deal with when i do these pop-ups it is either the harsh heat or crazy cold weather and when it downpours and rain it makes everything a lot complicated especially when i'm doing everything by myself so i decided to not do it and i will be back at the rose bowl in february i'm gonna try to sell my vendor ticket for january because i will be in las vegas dancing and i don't know we'll see if i continue to do the rose bowl in this upcoming year i may just stick to melrose and i will announce all of that on thursday's check-in because i know a bunch of you do make it part of your day to come and meet me in person and see the shop throughout the year so i will announce that on thursday's check-in i also wanted to share the earrings that i've been creating and these launched if you watch last week thursday's check-in you would have seen i'm constantly creating different styles they're all different i just made these yesterday and i'm using my holiday version as you can see with the rainbow glass in it so if you guys are interested in any of my resin work i also have been creating more bookmarks because i do sell a lot of them throughout the year I personally use mine for my agenda, my planet, my bullet journal. I don't read books, but these make great bookmarkers for anything with pages. So it doesn't have to necessarily be for a reading book. It could be for a journal. I use mine for my planner. I just created all of these this week and they will be on the web shop for purchase if you're not able to come to one of my pop-ups. So I wanted to just show them in hand so you can see what they look like they're all different and i can switch out the tassels i can add charms and can customize it and i think this would be really cute in like your plant journal plant notebook so reach out to me joelofwaii.com or dm me on instagram if you'd like to place your order if you can't make it to one of my pop-ups so these are going to be featured in my shops pop-up this weekend in the bay area i will be in the bay with hoku so let's see how she does uh, traveling all the way to the bay with me i will be in concord california on saturday and i will be in alameda california on sunday both markets is from 11 to 4 and then the shop is going to take a three to four week break and i will be back in southern california with the shop mid january and i will announce that on all the details on a upcoming thursday check-in i also wanted to have one of grandma's totes in hand that also launch for the holiday end of the year season there's a jewel of hawaii logo here and i absolutely love the totes i have them in every single print i use them for everything for market days for traveling and you can support my grandma's sewing 
by purchasing one of her totes and we still have a few lap blankets as well as aprons and then when she's back from Hawaii she'll continue to sew for the shop my grandma is going to be turning 80 this coming year so support small businesses and my grandma's sewing if you would love to have something made by her jewelhawaii.com there's just a few left and these will be in the pop-up as well so that's my announcements for my small business and just the, there's so much i've been creating this past week with the shop because i did take a three month break from creating anything well i traveled and now that i've been back here for two weeks i've just been working on creating more things for the shop because i am going to be dancing in vegas for about a month and won't be creating anything because i will be dancing so i'm going to be shifting gears so it's just kind of like replenishing the shop with new fun things there's always something new and exciting whenever i do my pop-ups and whenever i'm here in california so i've just been working really hard updating the web shop jewelhawaii.com and um, slowly getting as much as i can on the web shop so if you are interested in supporting small then go ahead jewelhawaii.com I also want to give a big shout out to everybody who took advantage of my holiday end of the year discount and that'll be up in a year again. So that is my small business resin artist life and I just kind of been dealing with the weather here. It is so cold. I like I was actually in my puffy jacket before this and the rain has destroyed the patio outside and I mean, I'm thankful for the rain and at one point when I came back from Las Vegas, all of the plants in the bathroom and studio, I took like a good hour or so to take them all out so they could get rainwater. And I think I filmed that for the vlog channel and then brought them back in. So stick around because on the upcoming Mondays, I will try my best to wrap up my plant year and highlight a bunch of plant babies and you get to see my last pot of fame for the year I'm gonna go into the top 10 series which I've done on the main channel and I would like to put out a bathroom plant tour so you can see what's been living in this space so that is going to wrap up Thursday's check-in just my announcement that I am gearing up for my Bay Area weekend I'm trying my best to continue in my mind going out to the bay area twice a year with the shop it's nice to switch things up and be in a different part of california with my small business and i decided to do it this year november and december last year i did it in june i'm kind of deciding when i'm going to go back to the bay area i may do it again in march which is the first opening month for the market that i do they take january and february off so i might go back in march and then maybe in November. I haven't decided yet. So if you're in the Bay Area, come out. I would love to meet you. And you can see the shop. And you can meet Hoku as well. So that is my announcements. I've just been really like, I feel like I'm just creating a lot of things and just kind of focusing on that. And also to take a moment to film things for the main channel before I step away for a month. And next week thursday's check-in you will be seeing me check in from las vegas if you haven't watched my planting with julian come with me that i aired this past monday go ahead and check it out that is the market that i will be at this coming sunday and i will try to do a walkthrough again in that part of the market it's just really hard when i'm a vendor and i can't step away from my booth literally not even to use the restroom because i'm by myself and i don't want anything happening to any of my art pieces so i will try to share it again but if you haven't watched this past monday planting with julian come with me go ahead and check it out it's always fun to see what plant life is like in different parts of the world especially like super cool that they have a dedicated plant section at the pop-up that i do which is super cool and i think they had a big variety of rare plants and also being able to su support small business owners in the plant community which is really cool so that's definitely one thing that i love about the market that i do up north is that they have a dedicated plant section so comment down below if you've seen the video what do you think about the variety that these plant vendors were selling up north and i feel like california plant game is so strong and there is definitely a new wave of plant people that entered the plant community over the lockdown and now as you can see 
maybe in your part of the world plant prices are super expensive now and i'm also gearing up for my new plant year and seeing where i'm taking the collection and the type of plants that i will be bringing into the collection i already had gifted a chunk of the collection to plant friends for the holiday season so i am slowly thinning out the collection piece by piece but my most beloved plants will continue to stay and then i'll see where and when i grow the collection but i definitely wouldn't mind adding more uh, philodendrons and theriums hoyas and um, maybe more crested aeoniums and rare euphorbias in the collection and of course any of the cactus that bloom for me i will definitely like to grow that part of the collection so i can continue making cool art pieces and that is kind of my train of thought for mid-december also if you haven't watched travel with julen on the vlog channel this is my shameless plug go ahead and support the vlog channel i have i think nine episodes for travel with julen iceland that just finished airing and tomorrow when this video goes live it will be episode one of travel with julen italy which i can't believe i finally made it to italy because i'm always choosing this country or Italy, this country and Italy and I always choose that country and never Italy and because I couldn't get into Nigeria for the summer and I was meeting my best friend there, we cancelled everything for Nigeria and decided to meet a month later in Italy. So you will see episode 1 tomorrow, support the channels, thumbs up the video, leave a comment, it really helps with the algorithm. And that is all for this week's announcements. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Hoku. And I will see you next week Thursday. I will share a little bit of my time in the Bay Area for our next week Thursday's check-in. And then we'll wrap it up part two in Las Vegas. And I will be there for about a month during the holiday season dancing. And you will see all of that on the vlog channel. I am vlogging every day like usual. So even if it's vlogmas season, I'm still vlogging every day. You eventually see that on the vlog channel. You get to see what my December looks like. Definitely uh, different from these past few months because I just really haven't been here. I've been traveling. But I'm so thankful for the collection for holding it down for me. Haven't had too much drama. And it's just been nice to like be in this space, create art and just be around the plants and also like thinking about my goals for not only my plant life but my personal life and also where i want to take the shop for this upcoming year as we gear up for 2023 so comment down below if you are planning on treating yourself for the holiday season with a plant i would like to and i'm trying to figure out when and where i'm going to do that i might go to one of my favorite plant shops in the Bay Area on Saturday after the market if I can get there before they close because the problem is when I do these pop-ups it's the same business hours as plant shops so by the time I'm done breaking down and in my car most of the plant shops are closed so I'm gonna try my best to hit up at least one of my favorite plant shops in the Bay Area and maybe if that can happen for me in my plant life, I would love to bring home at least one plant to add to the collection. So I'm going to have to do some research on business hours because Concord is super far. Alameda is super far. They're like 30 miles apart or so, these two markets that I do. And I am staying in an Airbnb in Oakland this time with Hoku. So I need to figure out a plan for this weekend to hit up at least one plant shop in the Bay Area because I know like it's gonna be several months till I'm back up north and the Bay Area has really awesome plant retail spaces so that is it for this week Thursday's check-in if you're interested in any of my resin art jewelofhawaii.com and I will see you this weekend in the Bay Area with the shop and then we gear up to head back to Las Vegas so if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day i will see you tomorrow on the vlog channel for travel with julen italy aloha from santa monica california bye